What is going on guys and welcome to Big G's Easy Lighting Tutorial. Now I'm going to show you guys the simplest way on how to set up all your switches. Make your house light up like a goddamn Christmas tree. Main switch there, boom, lights are off. Individual switches for all the lights. Look at that, lights on, lights off, lights on, lights off. Oof, you guys are going to have fun with this. What is going on guys and welcome to a Big G tutorial video. Now I'm going to show you guys a really, really simple way to make just some lights in your base. It's really basic, really easy. One flick of the switch and you have your whole base lit up like a Christmas tree. It's going to be really good. Um, it's really, really simple. It's for beginners, I guess you could say. I'm going to show you guys a bit more advanced stuff towards the end. But for those who just really want to know what you're going to really need, all you're going to really need is a, is a solar panel. One large solar panel. You can see right there, one large solar panel. Uh, one small rechargeable battery, one switch, and of course you're going to need yourself the wire tool and some ceiling lights. That's pretty much it. That's all you're going to need um, for the basic setup for your base. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the solar panels on the roof. I'm going to start off with one solar panel, just to show you guys what it's like with one solar panel. Where the hell's the sun? The sun's over here. I'm going to hook this up with one solar panel for now. Boom. Just the one. And uh, I'm also going to put the uh, battery downstairs, just going to whack it down here. It's not going to be nice and neat. You guys can work that out. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you guys a real simple way to do this. So, first things first, what you want to do, you want to run the output of the electricity with the wire tool. So you want to grab your wire tool. You want to run that straight through here. Boom, chuck a boom. I'm going to, I'm going to make this nice and neat for you guys. Let's bring it down the wall here. Uh, bring it right there and then straight into the input power in obviously the Sun is giving the solar panel power So you want to go to power in it to the battery boom and what you want to do here You want to run this to the outs to the switch of the light So if we go like this real quick, there's the switch that we need now if you want to grab the wire tool run this straight back across Into the input make sure it's electronic input not the output. I don't think you, it, you can't really do that But put it into the output and now you'll see the output is now lit up. Now what you do with this, all you're going to do is simply put three lights here. Boom, boom, boom. Nice and easy. And uh, since the update, now you have a pass-through for every light, which is really good. So now you can run this straight up the wall. Straight into the uh, input of one light. Straight through the pass-through. Into the input. Through the pass-through. Into the input. And there you have three lights. Look at the switch. Boom. It's that simple. Now, I want to show you guys another little thing that uh, I'm going to cancel this off. If you guys would like to set up different sections of your base. Now, what I like to do um, is actually have this set up. Oh, shit, I'm dropping my hammer everywhere. Uh, what I normally have is have this set up. I'm going to cancel that off so that doesn't light up anymore. So these are no longer lit up. I'm going to cancel these off just so um, cancel the pass-throughs. I'm going to show you guys how to set up different levels of your base for different switches. So I know that uh, to save yourself a bit of power or whatever, you actually can do it this way. And um, it's really easy, really simple. So what you want to do with the main switch, this is what I call the main switch. The one that runs directly to your power supply. Now you'll notice here, once you turn this switch off, you'll start to read, uh, your battery will start to go back up. You start to regen battery uh, as long as your main switch is off. That's, you'll start to get battery back. You don't have to have, you know, not connected and, and let it charge overnight and then connect it up. You don't need that. You just gotta have a switch trick to it. It'll stop the power from going anywhere and it'll start recharging. So you guys can see that right there. It's going up really, really easy, really, really simple. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab another splitter. Boom, I'm gonna stick it right next to it. I'm gonna put it right over here, actually. We'll put it right here. And uh, what I wanna do, though, is actually run now the output into the splitter, the top of the splitter, power into the splitter. Now, what the splitter does is allow three outputs. So I can set up three different switches for these lights. So I have one for every light. And it's a really easy way. So I can always turn, if I want all the power off, I can turn all the power off. Do it that way. Complete, no power to the whole entire house. Or I can have the main switch on and have individual lights, which I'm about to show you. Give me one second. I'm gonna, forgot to uh, make an extra switch, which is just down here. Here we go. Two extra, uh, make three switches, right. Now, what you wanna do is three switches. One, two, three. Really easy, really simple, all right. Into the input. Into the input. Now you can run these through your walls, your base, and whatever, straight into the input. Now you have three outputs, three switches. Straight up to every light. That's all it is. Really easy. Input. Up again. Input. Up again. Input. Now you can actually set up the whole level 
going through the pass-through. So remember, the pass-through will allow you to run more lights off the one switch. Really, really simple. Um, so now what I can do is turn the main switch on. But you'll notice none of these lights turn on now because the individual switches aren't turned on. But you will notice that it is probably going to uh, start to reach... Uh, Decharge the battery, which is actually not, it's actually charged up the battery for now, fine, so you should be fine with that. Uh, it's really simple, really easy way to do this. And then what you can do now is flip the switches on. Did that not connect properly? It didn't, did that not connect in? Interesting. Oh, the main switch is off. God damn it. Turn the main switch on. Boom, there you go. I was like, why the hell did I not turn it on for a second? Okay, the main switch was off. Um, so that's where your main switch is on. Um, and now you can actually turn off individual or, or different levels of your base with just a simple switch. Now if I do this... So now you can have three different ways. And if you want to turn them off, like you're going to bed or whatever and you're, all your lights are on, you can't be bothered going out through every level to turn off the switches. Simply turn them off. And you'll start to recharge the battery back up. You have them all on, obviously you'll start to use some of the battery up. Depending on uh, how many solar panels you have. Uh, at the moment it's going to stay pretty much steady. Because, um... I only got one solar panel and I only got three lights. But I'm going to show you guys something else. If you have a big base, then you're going to use up a lot of electricity. I'm going to show you guys the second thing, what you guys can do um, in order to have multiple solar panels and multiple power. So what you're going to need now, though, is a, a route connector. You're going to need one route connector. Now, what a route connector does is um, puts two power lines or two power supply ports from these. So you've got two power in and power out. So you've got power out. One here, and you've also got one over here as well. You can't put these in together, but what you can do is run them to a, a route connector. Power in one. And then come back up here. Grab this one. Let's connect it. Let me deconnect that. Into the main route connector. And then from that, back down into the switch. Because the, the, the power supply itself, the rechargeable battery, only has one input. So you can't run both solar panels into one input without the route connector. You need you need it to be you can have you can have 18 solar panels as long as you have enough route connectors to be able to connect it down to one line. So let's just say you have four solar panels, you're gonna need three route connectors. And so forth, so forth. So you have it, add one. That's how it works out. You got 15, you got 16, you're gonna need nine. So you got eight is half, and then you want to get nine. And you'll be able to route connect them all the way down and half the shit out of it. Um, and then by then you'll have, you know, 18 solar panels and you can pretty much do anything, door switches, all kinds of stuff. I'm not going to go into that, but it's really simple and really easy to do. Now that that's connected, you'll notice that the battery now is charging a lot faster. And also, boom, now I have three lights. And also have individual lights for every single one. Nice and easy. Easy as that. It's that simple. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. Uh, I have a Discord down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of Rust series and stuff, so don't be afraid to ask any questions. If you guys did find any help from this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Much love, guys. Big G out.